So this is a quick video on valence electrons and how to determine how many valence electrons an element has. In looking at the three elements uh, here, we have hydrogen, oxygen, and calcium, and their atomic numbers are on the top. Now remember that the atomic numbers also also tell you how many electrons that each atom has. So for instance, hydrogen, as seen on the picture, has one electron. Oxygen, if you count up all the blue dots there in the oxygen picture, has eight electrons. And calcium has 20 electrons. Now the definition of valence electron is the electrons on the outermost shell. So with hydrogen, we're simply talking about that one valence electron. So hydrogen has one valence electron. Okay. And uh, as we move on, if we take a look at oxygen, oxygen has one, two, three, four, and five, and six. We're not counting the two electrons on the innermost part because we're not counting these two because valence electrons are only on the outermost shell. So for oxygen, oxygen has six valence electrons. So we'll just write that here, six valence electrons. Now if we take a look at calcium, how many would you think that calcium would have? If you said two, that would be correct because it, as you can see here, on the outermost shell only, there's one and there's two. So calcium only has two valence electrons. Now, you wouldn't want to have to draw a Bohr diagram for each element to determine how many valence electrons it has. So what we'll do is there is a relationship uh, if you look at the periodic table. Now, here's a, uh, the periodic table with the atomic numbers. Now, the first thing that we'll talk about um, when using the periodic table to determine the valence electrons is you have to eliminate the transition metals. The reason being is that transition metals can have, um, they can have different amounts of valence electrons uh, for different reasons, which um, we don't need to go through right now. So, in eliminating the transition metals, we'll just simply cross this whole section out. We do not need to consider the transition metals when we're talking about valence electrons. Now, if you take a look at how many columns we have, you can see that there's eight columns left. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now, this determines actually, in the way they arranged the periodic table, how many valence electrons each element or each column has. So, for instance, the first column, or group one, the alkali metals, has one valence electron. All the atoms listed there. So, if you have um, hydrogen, helium, sodium, potassium, and so on, they all have one valence electron. If we move on to the alkaline earth metals, alkaline earth metals have two valence electrons. Now, as determined, as you can see, uh, as you would imagine, all the elements in column two, beryllium, magnesium, calcium, they all have two valence electrons. You can go all the way down, but we really don't use a lot of those, but it's good to know. And then, since we're skipping all the transition metals, you go straight over to the other side. Okay? And then that's where we continue. So everything in this column has three, everything in this column has four, five, six, seven, and the last one has eight. So this is how you determine how many valence electrons each one has. That should be pretty straightforward. Um, we will go into how to use that information later on. Um, the secret word that you'll need is MOBI. For, um, and you will see why tomorrow this is how I'm going to check if you did the homework. Uh, have a good day.